What is going on, my friends? Ken, the gamer, oh, four, and I hope you did not hear that. <laughs> I forgot that was on, and welcome back to LA Nor. It is a Wednesday, it is 8 p.m. It is another week, another video, another day, another. Well, not another dollar. Not until I have a thousand subscribers plus, but you know. I'm just doing this for free. I'm doing this so I can um, just entertain people because I like doing that and I'd say let's get on with it. Golden Butterfly. Ooh, let's see what this entails. So we're under a street lamp here, it looks like. Is this a parking lot? Mm, looks like it. Now, did she find herself, find herself dead or what's going on? Oh. Uh, uh, oh my god. That's gruesome. Galloway. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. <laughs> Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What an ass. What have we got? No, New literally. Case. What an ass. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend them off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. Ooh. College boy. I think boy. I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to. I am trying to adjust myself in my chair. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. Oh, okay. So how is everyone today? I I'm battling a migraine, but you know what? It's fine. I'm actually doing really. Why? Why does he go to like? Okay, I don't get it. Where are we going? Maybe I'll drive. Depends. Oh, I almost hit stop recording. My mouse was on the other side of my screen. Where it shouldn't have been. Uh, Broadway. So then we gotta go up then. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll drive. I know... Do you know D-Way? I know D-Way. Quit honking. You're fine. Did a decent job in the head of the case, though. Not bad for your first time with that. Thanks, Rusty. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. Rusty. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. Yeah. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. <laughs> might get along after all, eh? I hope we do. Wait, where do we gotta go? Oh, do we gotta go... Oh, we gotta go down the thing here? That's a, that's a traffic pole, whatever it is. I think we gotta go back here, right? Looks like it. Ah, oh, wow, look at all this. Whoa! Now, boys, boys, you know, know as, as much as, as I, I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. <laughs> I love that. I have two of my finest investigators on the case. Fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain! Aren't Dennis. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that matter? So you don't matter? believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to beat that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the City of Angels. Yeah, right. Any new Ooh. leads in the Dahlia case? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. Ooh. What do we have, Captain? Give him a shot. Another woman sacrificed. That's Speak sad. I want daily reports, gentlemen. 
I, I seem to be standing around. Shouldn't you be working? Who said that? They're getting Detective, I was first on scene. Wait, who am I talking to? Is this you? Am I talking to you? You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. Family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. Wait, so she got whacked in a parking lot and she got dragged under a pepper tree? <laughs> oh my god. That is totally not a street name around where I live. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Shut up before I punch you in your face. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I gotta censor this again. Jesus Christmas. Well, commence the sensing, that's for sure. She's literally fully naked. At everyone's expense. Jesus, Joseph. The boots are they? The stomping angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? I wonder. Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Interesting. But who is this woman? Just go for it, dude. What do you got? Well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Deirdre Muller. Back in a second. Parent Teacher Association. Ah, the PTA. Lovely. Gotta love the PTA around here. That's for sure. If the motive was robbery. Why not take the money? That is a good question. Why not take the money? Why'd you have to leave her naked? Dead. And there she is. What do you need, officer? Hi. Similar MO. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it now. Severely battered, on display, footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry yeah. boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. You mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. Uh, now I gotta Stop examine her. The Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. I was gonna say, wait a second, am I... Okay. Oh. Look at your mark, it's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Ew. Why are her bones creaking like that? That is so disgusting. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Well, let's go to the other side. Take a look at the other wrist. Oh, her ring was torn off. Look at that. What's this mark? A cut on a finger. Fourth finger, left oh, hand. Jesus. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Looks to happen violently removed. And then we got this boot here. That looks crazy as it seems. Detectives, R and I says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo uh -oh. Mahler. Oh. What I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We can have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? He just doesn't look happy. He He's literally walking away. That's nice. Alright, so I guess we are going to the Muller residence. Okay. He's literally walking to the car. He's gonna drive. I'm gonna make his stupid ass drive. Where's our car anyhow? Oh, way back there? Golly. Y'all seem to be standing around. Shouldn't you be working? You're behind the wheel. Like, shush. There's 
still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, then. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments doing? about her without even the slightest Can he not of what she drive? Was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? You know, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagine. <laughs> God. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's Move a woman. It. She's Holy the mother crap. of my children. <laughs> you're He's a got father children? Fool? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. I never knew he had children. I... wow. Yeah, literally never knew that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know, it's because I'm charging the phone. I'm just trying to check the status of my, uh, earbuds. Or... whatever these are. Earbuds? <sighs> Something like that. They're not AirPods, they're most certainly, uh, Galaxy. Not buds, but, like, they're a different set of earpods. Oh boy, I hope you're home, because I want this quick and easy. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name? Oh. Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? Oh no. So. Oh, I can see what's happening next. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna Could you have suck. A seat for me, Michelle? This is so gonna suck. Oh boy. We're gonna have a look around. <sighs> That's sad. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. What? What is it? Turn around. What is it? I was gonna say, it literally dinged now. What? My partner will explain everything when he gets back, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Nothing. Ah, what do we got here? Nope. Is this like a book? No? Okay. I thought it's like a book of some sort. This is probably the kid's bedroom. Uh, we got a boot here. What is that? Size 8. Oh. Uh. Size 8. Who? They got some really small feet if they wear a size 8 boot. Now what? Oh, we got jewelry here, it looks like. Boink. Oh, what's that? Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Imagine if the kid heard that. What do you mean her body? Oh, dude, I'd hate this so much. And there's the ring. No sign of a wedding ring. Hmm. Interesting. I can't investigate that. No, I can't go further. Okay, cool. It's okay, that's okay. What? Why are we this is gonna help us? Why are we picking up a carrot? Yeah, no. That obviously is not gonna help us. I don't know. I don't know why. Why are we smoking? Like, oh my god. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Uh, Please tell me she's okay. I hate this so much. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle. Uh, Your mother is dead. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? Try. This is so freaking sad. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. 
Um, I'm gonna give her the truth on this one. Hey, what gives? Daddy, the police are room, here. Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's some your wife kind was of found murdered. Okay, I do apologize. Um, the pausing or the recording did pause. I don't know for how long, but I do apologize. We did go through the questions, and I got two out of three correct. And we are at this moment. My apologies again. This morning, found. What? The... But, but she only. We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Okay, footprints at the crime scene. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. That's a lie. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? You're wearing an eight. Why would I lie to you at a time like this? <sighs> size eight work boots. That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. Oh my god. Oh my god. So Jesus. you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. But why? Why would you, you do that? clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Um. What's. Oh, wait. Do I have to. Okay, good. I thought. Um. Alright, alright. Uh, what's this? I'm gonna do the alibi. Oh, so thank why God. Why did it take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay. I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. <laughs> Okay, um, what about the missing, you persons, in the missing report? persons report this morning? No. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around. She left around 930. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Hmm. Did your wife ever go out by herself to bars, nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? Now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Well, in a time like that, you don't really get to do that. You got stuff and responsibilities to do. Literally. Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Yes, that's right. Truth? Where's the school? Okay, thank God. Belmont High on West 2nd Street. There's a parking lot next door where the parents wait for the kids. Okay, what about the history of violence? Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it. <laughs> that's not true, that's not true. Yes, it is, it is true, not you true. Know. You're a violent man. Well, he is a violent man, yes. It, 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 it's, it's true, though, because... Your daughter and your wife she was strangled, she was dead, she was, you. you know, all that crap. You don't know anything about me. Are you a secret lawyer or something? No. I am going to talk about the butterfly... Bruce, maybe? I know about the gold okay, butterfly, you, though, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses... Uh, Jewelry, her hair, it drove me goddamn crazy. Do Bro. I look like a Rockefeller? Yes, you do. Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. <laughs> Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, <laughs> Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. Ooh, he finna get it. We should go back in there and bust his ass. 
One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have At that no point, evidence true. to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Oh. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. Oh, God. Can you help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. Oh, okay. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see oh. Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Oh yeah, okay, look no at this. No shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Be careful. He looks dangerous. Of course he does. What do I have to get really close to him and tackle him? What do you? Ah, uh, golly, people. So it looks like this guy did murder his wife. By the looks of it. Oh, how in the yippee ki yay, Skippy John Jones are we doing this? Enough running, Hugo. Hands where we can see them. Is he seriously trying to? This doesn't look good, Hugo. Uh, I, I can the boy. Uh, oh boy. Oh, shucky ducky quack quack. Quick, quick. The duck is not on crack today. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't... What's home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncles? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. Ooh. Oh boy. We gotta get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Mm-mm-mm. So where do we go now? The cop from the newspaper. That is me. Guess we're going to the high school. Badge number 564. Oh, pardon me. Can we get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street? Send someone down from Juvenile uh -huh. Hall to look after a young lady. Roger, 11K. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has a report waiting. Please board downtown when he's available. Got it, KGPL. Oh, I guess I gotta go back to the central morgue now. Where do you, where do you want me to go? This has me circle. I mean... Okay, we'll we'll go to Central Morgue, see what they I'm have to say. You know, I didn't make the husband. For it. Always make the husband, Phillips. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some lives in my day. Lex Parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct. One. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical. Out of it. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. Try this one off the side. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, uh, of course. Oh my god. Famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away that one. Hey, this officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. Officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive, and 211 in progress, and shots fired. You know, to handle code 3 identified. <laughs> Oh, maybe we should go there. Eleven K to KGPL. We'll take the two eighty eight. Go ahead with the further. Oh boy. So wait, is this going to the high school or is this going? Boy, oh boy. You know this is dumb. Now I gotta set another crime scene, Central Morgue. Where's the high school? Belmont High. Oh my god. 
I gotta turn around. Throw on the siren, let's go. This is gonna be fun. Yippee! Let's go driving, boys. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go riding, boys. And Danica. Can't forget about her. Is this school below or above? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, uh, I think we made a wrong turn. You know what? Looks like we gotta go over here. Oops. If we survive this, it's gonna be a miracle. <laughs> if you get fired, it's a miracle. It's the first season since Fabergrashing's over. We have to go. I told you I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Busy where? You're going on another drive with Baby Gardner, aren't you? So what if I am? Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. Yeah, what is this guy doing? He's peeping in on other people. I swear if he has if he gets in this truck right here. Oh, he doesn't. I like PD. Put your god dang hands up now. Yoink. Swear to god if he steals a vehicle. I'm seriously gonna steal a vehicle and just run and run him over, literally. I can't tackle him. Be I'm not. He looks dangerous. Thank you. I get that. He is dangerous. I can't tackle him. What, what was I just doing? Am I literally running up on him? Bro, what is this? I get so close to him and then I just. He, how? How? Okay, like. Come here, you little crap. Not far enough, freak. You move a muscle and you're a dead man. Yeah. Car 11K, car 11 King, come in. Yeah. Car 11K, car 11 King, come in. 11K, go ahead. 11K, see the janitor. A green 1946 coupe registered to a Mrs. Hugo Moeller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School and playing fields. 11K code 2. Mmm, fun. What's your name? Who's asking? Me. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Kick his hey, ass. Eli Rooney. Kick You've his ass. in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What Some. are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't oh. know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like him a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. What? Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. Oh, boy. You're under arrest, Eli. Well, well, well. Look what we got here. Get some backup down here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. Mm, I'll tell like them it. we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeesh. It's kind of too harsh, wouldn't you say? Eli Ro uh, Rooney. Rooney, was it? Or Ro Roly? I forgot his name already. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m.? We keep it a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. 
He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. Thanks for your help. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for your help. Oh, we gotta we gotta search the car. What in the holy hell is this? Oh Blood boy. And skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. Ray Pinker, where are you, buddy? What's this? It's from oh, boy. Chrysler. Could be important. Oh boy, I got some blood on here. Oh, what's this? The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. I wonder that too. Alex, gross if you ask me. Okay. Well, let's hurry back to our car. I don't know where we parked the car though. Why is the why is the car all the way out here? Why couldn't he park it in the parking lot? I don't get it. I really don't. But game well. Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, detective? How can I help, detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Yay. Thanks for your help. And time to go to back to the station. You can you can drive. Can you drive to this one? And where uh, exactly are we going? We're going to the Central Morgue. We have to go down there. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Muller slide? That is true. For a while. He gets a free pass for now. I wouldn't say a free pass. I would say uh, a gas chamber. Oh, darn. I'm really, 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 really tired. Sorry, guys. It's been it's been a day dealing with uh, this migraine, and then I, I didn't sleep last night, so I was up and down all night. What's today? Is today Tuesday? I think so. I don't even know. I'm recording this, I think, a day in advance. Or behind, I should say. Whatever. Whatever. You know. You know what I'm trying to say. I guess. Alright, where's Pinker? Oh, there he is. Phelps? Rusty? Thanks for coming. Rusty. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Yes. Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Nope. Correct. Oh. Take a look at the samples on the bench. Okay. Oh boy, what are we looking at? Oh, right here. Can we go further up? Uh, I guess not. I guess we have to... We have to do every single one, my gosh. Uh, no. Why do we have to go through every single one? Is this the right one? What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? Okay. On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Mmm. I see, I see. We have ourselves a case. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally the attacked? Libido. No external or internal traces of semen. Mm. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. 
Interesting. So now what? Uh, back to the police station, I guess? My guess is only as good as yours. Hey, let's take the ambulance. Alright, well, we're going back to the police station. It is late at night, look at that. Somewhat late, I mean, I don't know how late it is, but we'll see. You can drive, because I have to go take a break. You know the way, you can drive. <laughs> I don't feel like driving. Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. That is Funny true. Job, that, the coroners. How so? You, know, you don't want them to join their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. Been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Uh, Rusty, Rusty, Rusty. I think that's what his name is. I don't know. I don't care. Horrible partner, horrible partner, horrible partner. That's all I can say. Uh, Alright, once this thing ties out... Alright, I will be right back. Alright, we are back with the action. My apologies for the stoppage. Alright, we have to you talk. not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Oh. Get in there and get a conviction. So, do we go to one or do we go to two? Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. Oh, boy. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. Personally? Uh, well, let's go to interview one. Oh my god. All right, my apologies. You look like on you're that. Rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? Oh. All right, let's see. Uh, let's you're Place of employment. Luck, Eli. I had worse. My family a road killed during the dust bowl. But you have a job. Oh. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. Are you sure about that? This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't misplace big yellow letters HM out front. Uh, Did you there... any work wear, Eli? Sure. There's a guy. Green coverall. Yeah, there you go. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Access to braided rope. Whoever tie up any of your victims, Eli. It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Oh. Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Mm. Any old rope will do me fine. Do I, I don't know. Do I give him doubt or truth? I might do truth. On, boy, like okay. You, Eli, must prefer okay. For Holy rubber, crap. I, right? I prefer braid. Tie hitching braid. Stays tight. Alright, motive for you the murder. You killed Mrs. Muller and mm. stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. Benefit of the doubt. You have no job. And nowhere to live by the smell of things. <laughs> and you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. Whoa. Oh boy. Why are you giving me this? Do I charge him or do I? 
I don't know, man. I'm gonna leave interrogation for now. As good as done, now. Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. I don't know. I wonder if I. I really wonder if I made the with choice. My money, you go Mueller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I really I wonder if I made the right choice. I hate these things. You know you made it. Where are we at? Well, we're in here now. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. Hugo. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And Whoa. all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Okay, well, disposal of evidence. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Oh, uh, um, truth? Believe okay. That. It's rabbit's blood. I th believe that was correct. The guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. Oh, okay, uh, access you know to the rope. about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Okay. Why? What? Okay, but... See, this is what I don't like. Do I have truth or doubt? I'm gonna say doubt. You learned to strangle okay. with the rope in the army? Okay, holy with crap. Rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. Okay, access to the Your tire wife was iron? with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You do too. You do You're lying, too. Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean up. It's this. the bloody, the bloody thing. You got no proof. Yes, I. D oh, you are a senseless mother trucker. This guy right Your here. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A uh, Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Yeah, victim vehicle recovery. You found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Do I... Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. This guy's lying. Seriously Enough lying. Lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. It's the overalls. Are you kidding me? Green overalls. Blood Jesus. With the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? Oh, come on. I'm. Mm, I really. I hate this. Hugo I'm gonna. Mueller, I'm gonna I'm charge you him. with the murder of your wife. You'll be arraigned and taken before a grand jury. Book him, Rusty. With pleasure. I'm gonna charge him. I. I think I. That. That whole thing might be wrong. I mean, that's just. That's just. He. Was was it right? I have to say I'm disappointed. What? I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution. And you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals. Rouse them. Beat them. And restore some fervor to your police work. The next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! Oh my god. No freaking way. How did we fail that? What?
Wait. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So, wow. That really... Oh my god. So I... I hate when they do that to me. I really hate when they do that to me because then I'm like, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to do this? Oh my god. That's crazy. That is crazy. Alright, well, I hope you guys liked it. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna really have to rewatch this case. This is this is really weird. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will catch you guys all next week. I'll catch you guys this Friday for From the Fog. And peace out.